Okay, this is your most important organ in your body. And it's incredibly important how you take care of it if you want it to serve you well. And the fa research on fasting and brain repair is insane. So if you want to improve your memory, if you want to know how to hold on to information better, if you want to prevent Alzheimer's or dementia, you're going to want to watch this next video. Super excited to bring it to you. Okay, Dr. Mindy here today with half a voice I come to you, bringing you incredible news about what fasting can do for your memory. So I'm really excited to share with you why fasting, why ketones are this miraculous tool to start to regain memory, to start to get better clarity, mental clarity, um, to help you learn better. There's evidence showing us that when you're fasting, that there is so much neuro regeneration that happens in the brain that you become a better, better at absorbing information. The evidence on what fasting does to the brain is unreal. So I'm going to break it down and make it hopefully as simple as possible for you to understand. So let's start off by just getting this general idea. And the idea is that inside your brain, so I have, this is a model we use here in my office. Inside the brain here, there's a part of the brain called the hippocampus. And the hippocampus is storing moods. It's for, it controls mood and it controls memory. And its job is those neurons in there store all the information about your past, all the information that you've learned gets stored in this part of the brain. Okay, and I talked about this part of the brain. If you go back to my brain reset um, uh, videos, I talked about how sometimes this part of the brain, it doesn't serve us because we can get locked in fearful thoughts that we have from the past. Well, what they know about things like Alzheimer's and dementia is that it happens in this part of the brain. It happens in the hippocampus. The degeneration starts here. And when, those, when the degeneration of your hippocampus begins, you stop remembering. You also have trouble holding on to information. So learning new things becomes very difficult. So if I was to come in and like zoom right into the hippocampus here and look at what makes up this hippocampus, it's a bunch of these dendrites. Remember we talked about this again in, in the Brain Reset series. And these dendrites, the best way that I can explain them is they're like finger-like projections. And in an Alzheimer's brain, what happens is these dendrites that are on the end of these neurons is that they start to become tangled and they wither away. This is called neurodegeneration. And when they wither away and they become tangled, they stop sending information. What that feels like to the pre-Alzheimer brain or the pre-dementia brain is that you're getting some information. You have a thought like, oh, I should go get my keys. And all of a sudden you walk into your kitchen where your keys normally sit and you're standing there and you're like, wait a second, what am I doing here? That's because these dendrites have started to wither away. And so they're not carrying information to the next dendrite. And so there's a blockage of information, a little bit like a traffic jam. So this is where fasting can come in and be miraculous for the brain that is suffering from either Alzheimer's or dementia, or if you're wanting to prevent it, or you're even one of those people that you're walking in to your kitchen and you're not sure why you're there, you're losing things, you're forgetting old memories. All that is, is these dendrites that are starting to degenerate. So I wanna to explain to you how fasting starts to regenerate these dendrites. And let me start off by explaining there is a man, his name is Mark Matson. I'm gonna link many of his studies in here. That is, he's a neuroscientist from Johns Hopkins. And he's been under, trying to understand what fasting can do for the brain, but he's been doing it actually in mouse studies. And he's now just start, launched into human studies. So we'll get to see the long-term um, effects of that study down the road. But what he has identified with mouse studies is that our brains, our bodies are built for survival. 
were built for evolution. If we go back to the, pri pr uh, the primitive days, the caveman days, is that when we woke up, and I've mentioned this before, when we wake up in the morning back in the caveman days, we didn't have food around us. So we had to go search for food. So you need your brain to be incredibly sharp and incredibly alert. You need your brain to remember where the food was yesterday. So your brain, those neurons had to be on high alert. So the longer the cave person went out and fasted, what they found is that if they had been all fasting all morning, the smarter they got, the more those neurons were, became um, efficient at helping the person go and find the food. We are built at tor for evolution and we need to be able, we're built to survive. That's how our brain is built. So here, let me go back to this idea that I started with the um, Reset Your Age series. When you don't have glucose and you switch to glycogen, in that process, ketones get, get secreted. Very much like the cave person, they wake up, they may have had a great meal the night before. They haven't switched to glycogen yet. They might feel a little sluggish, but they got to go out and find food. So as soon as they switch to glycogen, all of a sudden ketones will kick in. And when ketones kick in, you guys are all familiar with that, the, the ketones going up signal a protein called BDNF. And BDNF is a protein that will actually take neurons, it's like putting fertilizer on your neurons of your brain. It'll take these neurons that might be degenerating and it will start to create stem cells so that these neurons can regenerate again. They can actually make themselves new again. But you need the ketones in order to signal the BDNF and you need to stop bringing in the glucose, which is food, to signal the glycogen in order to get the BDNF to start to, to activate. Once BDNF starts to activate, then what it will do is secrete stem cells in the brain. It'll regrow these neurons that might've been degenerating. And even better yet, the second step that it'll do is it'll start to grow new neurons. So the minute you have BDNF on that brain, you've got new neurons that are forming. And these new neurons are like perfect neurons to absorb new information. So you've got new neurons, you've regenerated the old, and then the other wonderful thing that kicks in that, that you all know is that in, as you're stimulating glycogen and you're stimulating ketones and you're stimulating BDNF and you're getting more stem cell production, you're also getting autophagy. So these neurons are waking up, new neurons are forming, and then with autophagy, what autophagy does for the brain is it goes in there and it starts to clean up anything that's on the edge of these dendrites, these little finger-like projections on the end of your neurons. It'll go and it'll clean this stuff up so the transmission of information can go across the dendrites in a more efficient way. So, I, I mean, the more I studied this for this video, I was like, holy cow, like this could solve so many mental disorders that we have, especially with aging, the pre-dementias and the Alzheimer's. If we know that when we fast, we're gonna get neurogenesis and we're gonna build new neurons, why isn't everybody fasting? Everybody should be fasting to prevent memory loss. That should be part of a tool that we're taught as we get older. But I think again, it's just brand new information. We're just learning it. Um, so I wanted to bring it to you. Uh, we're doing a series called Reset Your Age. And in one of the biggest complaints I see in my clinic is that so many of you, as you're getting older, you're forgetting old memories. You're having trouble absor uh, absorbing new uh, information coming in and you're forgetting old tasks. Now, what, uh, before I finish this up, I know a lot of you are gonna ask, okay, well, what, how do I get this BDNF? At what point? does BDNF get secreted? And uh, there's some interesting studies on that. I talked about BDNF in the studies that they've done during Ramadan. So that would be a fast, just sun up to sun down. We, uh, the other, Mark Mat, uh, uh, Matson, the neuroscientist from um, John Hopkins, 
His studies on, math, on mice were done with alternate day fasting. So that's eating one day, fasting the next day, and then eating one day. So that was his studies where he saw BDNF starting to be secreted to uh, stimulate stem cell production to create neurogenesis. And then if you follow the trail, you go, okay, well, if it's ketones that stimulate BDNF, then I just need to get some myself into ketosis, which for some of you, that's 13 hours, 14 hours. Some of you that you're staying in ketosis all the time. So there's a lot of different varying of uh, lengths in order to get this neurogenesis. I would say if you're already losing your, your memory, if you're already driving places and you don't know where you're going, if you're in a conversation and you're searching for words, um, if you can't remember people's names, like it's time to start creating a fasting lifestyle. You gotta start putting in some of these 24 hour fasts on a regular basis. And uh, next week in the Resetter group, we're gonna do a fast training week that's all built around stimulating these chemicals. I wanna teach you how to stimulate more BDNF. I wanna te teach you how to stim uh, reset your dopamine receptor sites. Um, so we're gonna dive into the chemical aspect of fasting. We've done a lot of talk on the cellular aspect. I wanna dive into the chemical aspect. So get ready, cause that'll be next week, October. Uh, I think it's like the 21st through the 25th will be our next fast training week. So um, we'll put it in the notes here. But holy cow, you want better memory? You wanna know how to learn more? Start fasting, it's truly that simple. And you know, as always, with or without a voice, as always, I hope this information is landing for you and moving you in a really positive direction. Hope that helps.